Today's story is Fiona's Little Accident by Rosemary Wells. Fiona and her best friend Felix had built a volcano. It was going to erupt big time at show and tell. At bedtime, Fiona laid out her aloha dress, her sunshine undies, and her new red shoes. In the morning, Fiona was all volcano talk. The sea will boil and the sky will go dark, said Fiona. Did you use the bathroom, dear? asked Fiona's mama. Yes, yes, mama, answered Fiona. Are you sure? asked Fiona's mama. Sure as sure is sure, said Fiona. This was not really true. On the school bus, Fiona told herself, I'll have plenty of time to run to the bathroom at school when the bus pulls in. But the bus was late. Up staggered Felix with Mount Vesuvius on his head. Bing, 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 bing. The school bell rang. There was no time for Fiona to go to the bathroom. In the back of Miss B's class, Felix and Fiona readied their volcano. Then they waited for Miss B to call on them, but Miss B called on Victor first. Victor brought his trick goldfish for show and tell. Victor and his goldfish took forever. Next, Miss B called on Bethany. Bethany played Hawaiian holiday on her ukulele. Fiona waved her hand to go to the bathroom. But the bathroom was busy. Come out, come out, whispered Fiona. But whoever was in there was very busy. Volcano time, called Miss B. Carefully, Fiona poured instant lava into the crater. Felix added the activator fluid. Kablam! The lava erupted with a giant belch. It gushed upward, spewing a spectacular cloud of glitter. At that very moment, Fiona's accident happened. Everyone saw Fiona have the accident. Fiona knew everyone saw. She wanted never, ever to be seen again. Fiona tossed her sunshine undies in the trash and sped to the Harmony Corner. There she dived deep behind the relaxation beanbags. Felix found her. I'll never come out, declared Fiona, ever. Don't worry, said Felix. Accidents have happened to everyone in the world. Even the president, even the first lady. The whole class will laugh at me for 50 years, said Fiona. They won't remember it for 50 seconds, said Felix. Inch by inch, Fiona came out from her hiding place. Welcome back, Fiona, said Miss B. On Miss B's lap was a pair of clean, dry bluebell undies in a zip bag. Your mama brought these to school for you, said Miss B. Fiona put the bluebell undies on. Bravely, Fiona went back to class. Not one classmate paid any attention to Fiona. The reason was that Victor had just made his goldfish jump into his mouth. He swallowed it, yelled Humphrey. Before Miss B could call the school nurse, Victor yelled, Out! Out jumped the goldfish back into its bowl. The whole class chattered about Victor almost swallowing his goldfish for the rest of the day. Nobody seems to remember about my accident at all, said Fiona. I told you, said Felix, 
It took them 50 seconds to forget it. 49 and a half seconds, said Fiona. Thanks for watching Storytime with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.